since Faked the Winx Saga has premiered on the Netflix streaming platform, it has been rising in popularity with every day passed by. And we can certainly say that it is due to the amazing story and the cast behind it. New and old fans of the franchise joining in to see how everything unfolds. And today, we have some behind the scenes secrets you probably didn't know about. Inspiration. Iginio Strafi, the comic artist who created the Winx Club back in the 1990s, noticed that animated series mostly focus on male heroes. Thus, he hoped to explore the psychological side of the transition from 16 to 18 years to an adult. And the main inspiration that Strafi pulled was the creation of the rivalry between fairies and witches, something like the Oxford-Cambridge rivalry, and later also drawing inspiration from the Japanese manga and comic drawings of Sergio Bonelli, who later became to be the one who popularized the comic book format known as the Bonelliano. Such a strange place to take inspiration from, but it worked out, and look where the whole concept has been taken these days. Last Minute Call With Chilling Adventures of Sabrina under her belt, who would have thought that Abigail Cohen, who portrays the character Bloom, would not be ready to become the leader of one of the newest groups on the Netflix streaming platform? But she managed to do so, after getting a last minute call as she was about to catch her plane to Vancouver. The crew of the series asking for her to audition for the role. She had only two hours to secure the role, so you can only imagine just how big of a hustle the whole thing was. She thought that she was crazy sitting in the waiting room with her suitcase by her side, convincing herself to not be anxious and to do her best, making the excitement of her getting the role that much sweeter. A role for the lead character on a Netflix series. A feeling unmatched. Location When you take a closer look at the setting and the location of the series, it is simply to die for. And if there is anything real about the Winx Saga, it has to be the fascinating landscapes that appear throughout the show. No CGI was necessary when the showrunners decided to shoot the series' episodes in Ireland, a place that looks nothing less than a magical fairyland kingdom, with all the castles and spacious fields. And I am filming in a giant green field. The cast themselves could not believe what they were seeing with their eyes. What was in front of them? They were all ecstatic. However, the award for the biggest fan of the location where the show took place has to be the leading star, Abigail Cohen, which could be witnessed from all of her social media photos of picturesque landscapes. Creating. Unsatisfied by the looks of the characters, the looks taken as copies from Japanese films, Strafi hired Italian stylists to do the heavy work in the designing side of things. Stylists whom some worked for the brands like Dolce & Gabbana and Prada. They did a phenomenal job and were able to remodel the characters, giving all of the characters a more modern look. The name Winx itself came from the word Winx, with the X symbol chosen to symbolize the shape and sound of Winx. What a way to create a very recognizable franchise, with elements taken from very different places. Bravo, Iginio Strafi! Darker Tone Right from the start of the series, the Netflix adaptation of the original Winx Club, named Fate the Winx Saga, took quite a different turn, especially in the story side of things. The original story from the animated series often taught valuable lessons to the young audience, while still the series being airy and uplifting. However, the 2021 live-action adaptation saw the series take a swing at the story being more emotional and much darker. For example, Bloom learns of her powers after she almost sets her home on fire, putting her parents in danger, after which she learns just what happened to the place where she was supposedly born. Due to past experiences, Stella goes through heavy emotional trauma, with her getting ridiculed by her royal family. Missing or Changed Characters The characters of any franchise are what make the whole thing come together. Thus, fans of the original series might not have been fond of the fact that some of their characters are still in the dark, yet to possibly make an appearance, or not at all. One of these major characters is Terra with the Netflix series getting her replaced by an Earth Fairy Flora, and it is still unclear if she will ever make an appearance in the future of the series. However, 
The sheer mention of our character in the first season suggests that there is a high chance of us having the pleasure of witnessing her glory in the near future. Another character for whom fans have noticed a big change is Musa, and her powers which shifted to accurately fit the storyline of the series. Thus, instead of being a music fairy, she is an empath and mind fairy. And last but not least, the fans also noticed that Tecna, the fairy of technology, is missing, one member of the original group from back in the day. Friendly Relationships one of the biggest elements that any movie or series has is a well-rounded cast that has a lot of fun doing what they love the most, doing their job while also having fun in the process, especially with people that you see as a friend. And here we are to tell you that there are no fake friendships in Fate the Wink Saga cast. There may be some enemy dynamics on the screen, but in reality, from everything that has been shared on the internet and social media, we can see that they are like one happy family, and we can't imagine the case being any different when this group of people who have been living in the wilderness for a long time. And even when the cast was not filming, all they could think about was rehearsals for the show, chanting all kinds of magic and spells in between sets. Read through, how do you feel? Rise and shine. VFX One of the disappointing things you will come across after you have binged your favorite fantasy show is that all the magic you saw was CGI. Now, yes, no one can produce flame from their skin, but the crew should have probably tried a little bit better in that department, as all you saw on the small screens was a result of a green screen set. This is how Danny Griffin felt when she came to the set, as he was given props for every scene done in the show, with the prime example being a rubber sword. And when he got the prop on the first day of set, his words were, where's the real one? All in all, even with all the props and green screen shenanigans behind the scenes, we were all always on the edge of our seats whenever a battle commenced, right? Celtic Mythology we have already told you the location of the filming of the series being set in Ireland, a country known for its folklore and mythology. So you can see where we're going with all this. This is very evident in the story department, where the Ireland mythology has been known to have a huge influence on it from the fairy side of things, and the series has taken a note from all of this. The series itself has been described as taking place within Otherworld, a name heavily attributed to the world of fairies in Irish mythology. The first season of the show proved to be a very successful one, getting a renewal for a second season from Netflix right away. Flaws here and there could have been witnessed within the first season of the series, but they are all manageable. Thus, we should expect a more fresh and stable season two of the series, with more after that one to come for sure. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below which of the characters has been your favorite so far, and which episode of the first season of the show has been your favorite. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.